Hi. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Good evening. Bonsoir à tous. Bienvenue, salle Rémi Fimelin, et sur le site du Conservatoire National Supérieur de Musique et de Danse de Paris pour ce deuxième rendez-vous en direct autour du département de la danse. Et comme c'est le premier rendez-vous de cette année, nous vous souhaitons une excellente année. Après le cours public auquel vous avez pu assister en octobre dernier, nous avons le plaisir ce soir, comme vous vous en rendez compte, de nous glisser dans une répétition, celle de l'une des pièces qui entre au répertoire du département cette année, « Hearts and Arrows » de Benjamin Millepied, sur une musique de Philippe Glass, que travaille actuellement l'ensemble chorégraphique, l'ex-junior ballet du conservatoire. Pour ce faire, le conservatoire a invité le chorégraphe et danseur Charles Hodge, qui a... qui a donc travaillé avec Benjamin Millepied pour la création de la pièce et qui sera donc ici au conservatoire, au conservatoire deux fois en résidence jusqu'en avril. Alors l'ensemble chorégraphique qui est déjà sur scène, comme vous pouvez le voir, est déjà au travail depuis le début de l'après-midi, est composé d'une quinzaine de jeunes danseurs issus du deuxième cycle en classique et en contemporain. Pour ces jeunes étudiants âgés de 18 à 23 ans, c'est la dernière étape qui les prépare au métier de danseur interprète à travers les situations multiples que leur propose le conservatoire, qui les confronte à un vaste répertoire de création et de reprise et les met en situation d'autonomie dans une pratique qui s'apparente à celle d'une compagnie pré-professionnelle au sein du conservatoire ou hors les murs. Hearts and Arrows est la deuxième pièce de Benjamin Millepied à entrer au répertoire du Conservatoire de Paris, la première ayant été Plain Spoken, rec recréée durant la saison 2012-2013. Hearts and Arrows date, elle, de 2014, et elle fait partie de la trilogie James, donc James qui signifie pierre précieuse, commanditée par Van Cleef and Arpels. Elle a été écrite pour le LA Dance Project et a fait également l'objet d'un très beau film que l'on peut visionner sur Internet si cela vous intéresse. C'est donc à Charles Hodge qu'il incombe de la faire revivre ici au Conservatoire de Paris et il est certainement la personne la mieux placée pour remonter une telle pièce. Après des études brillantes à l'Université de Washington en danse, mais aussi en architecture, Charles Hodge a travaillé comme danseur soliste d'abord avec le ballet de Sacramento, puis dans la compagnie de Twilight Tharp. Nommé meilleur danseur masculin en 2003 par l'European Critics' Choice Awards, il a fait ses débuts à Broadway dans la comédie musicale Moving Out et il a remporté le prix Fred Astaire pour sa création du personnage masculin Marty dans la comédie musicale de Sinatra et Tharp, Fly Away. En 2012, il est l'un des membres fondateurs du LA Dance Project avec Benjamin Millepied, à la fois comme danseur et comme directeur assistant. À partir de 2015, il partage sa vie entre la danse et le design. Il m'a même confié qu'il travaillait pour la NASA et il enseigne la danse à l'Université de Californie. C'est donc une personnalité euh, artistique euh, très polyvalente que nous rencontrons ce soir sur ce plateau et nous allons poursuivre cet entretien en anglais. So, good evening, Charles. Votre français est comment? How is your French? It's, uh, so, comme c'est comme ça. <laughs> Je peux le lire. Mais pas le Je dire. Suis, oui, oui, mais pas le dire. <laughs> Alors, we are very pleased, obviously, to have you here in Paris and to have the opportunity to see how you work with young dancers like tonight. But let's go back into the past. How did you meet Benjamin Milpier? In what circumstances? Um, he called me on the phone. The first time we ever met was in a phone call. He asked me to help him stage a commercial for um, Alan Aff Afflelu. Alain Flelou, les lunettes. Les lunettes, <laughs> in, in Italy. And I said, who is this? <laughs> he said, it's Benjamin Milpier. He said, cool, like, you don't know me. Why are you hiring me? And he said, um, I think you're great. I've seen you perform. I've seen you work. We're good. If you want to do this, say yes. I said, yes. So we did a commercial in Italy. And then uh, the next year, he started LA Dance Project. Mm -hmm. So have you been a dancer into Arts, Hearts and Arrows? Yes. Yes. Yep. So you know as a dancer this choreography? Yes. 
And uh, what memories do you have of this creation with Benjamin Milpied? I think the um, uh, George Balanchine, a uh, commissioné, um, who was it? Jules. No, uh, Van Cleef and Arpel. Oui. A uh, commissioné, George Balanchine, a uh, créé Jules. Mm -hmm. um, and for the anniversary, uh, Van Cleef and Arpel, like 50 years later, 50 années. 1967 it was. Mm. Um, was then to create a new Jules with Benjamin Milpied. This is his version of diamonds, hearts and arrows. Mm. It's a very stamina heavy piece. Um, so it takes all eight dancers are dancing the entire time. Il y a six mouvements, um, and in each, uh, there's one feature or a duet. So every dancer has a feature, and then they go back into the ensemble. And it's, it's um, yeah, it's very hard on the stamina. It's a lot of steps. It's good. A lot of energy. Yes. Yeah. I also I think there's um, this is a very joyous piece. It has it's it's a beautiful arc where you come to a point of tension, and then right after the tension, the fifth movement to me feels like um, a rain dancing in the rain after a heartbreak. Oh, so like the fourth movement is, it is the fourth <laughs> movement is the first movement you kind of find love maybe third movement there's independence fourth movement your heart breaks fifth movement is like rebuilding yourself and then the sixth movement is after the rain and the sun comes in and you feel like life isn't so bad i, I can do this <laughs> how um by recreating these pieces with students what do you insist on what seems important for you to transmit in a way um, Working with students is different than working with professionals. A lot of professionals already either have technique or they believe they have technique. <laughs> students are still building it. And so I like to approach this with both. How do I teach them the steps of the dance, but also how can we talk in general, more globally, about their technical approach? And technique to me is a capital T it's showing up on time, it's taking care of your body, it's being nice to your partners, it's asking the right questions, it's not being hard on yourself. So technique is kind of just how you exist in a dance space. Um, and it's really great because they're open to figuring that out, finding themselves their voice. And so I think I try to balance both of those things together. The music of Philip Glass is very important in that choreography. Uh, when does it enter into your work? Right away? Um, always right away, because the music, I think music and dance are married, that the sound of the music will influence the quality of the movement. And you should know this. I tell the dancers, so there are three stages of dance. There's the class, there's rehearsal, there's the performance. In class, we work really hard and we're not afraid to mess up. In rehearsal, we, um, I think we expect more. In performance, we freak out. Um, it's a lot of stress. So I think they should all be the same. Instead of having one version of a step that I do in class, and then in rehearsal, it's different, and then in performance, it's different, just do the same thing every time. So I encourage them to take class the way they rehearse, which is with focus, to do rehearse the way they perform, which is with passion, and then to perform the way they take class, which is with forgiveness. Beautiful. And then I think the music is all part of that. It's like, why would we think that this is a dance step, and then here's the dance step with music? It's always the same. Just do the one way, the right way, the first time, and then we can go home. Okay, for us, can you explain what you're up to now? Because you've been working with them for three days. Yes. You arrived on Monday. They didn't know the choreography. What are we going to see for the coming hour? Mm -hmm. um, we've spent the last two days, I've been just teaching them all of the solo work in each of the movements so that I could try to get to know them. That way I can cast them as best as possible. Um, I, want, I want them to do what I want them to do. And the best way to do that is if they want to do it too. So if I can find what they like most, then it's a better marriage. The outcome is stronger. And so just 20 minutes ago, I decided on what the casting was. So this is the first time that we're actually going to start building the first movement, 
where they're learning the actual step that they will perform. So kind of it's after the audition, and now it's time to learn the, the piece. So this is all brand new. Um, and I also chose to do that. I didn't want them feeling like they had to perform the rehearsal, um, but just to rehearse it. I guess that's against what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Shoot. Anyway. Back so, to first work, movement. Then. Yeah, back to work. Alors donc, retour à la répétition. Troisième jour de travail sur la pièce Hearts and Arrows de Benjamin Millepied. Musique de Philippe Glass avec l'ensemble chorégraphique du Conservatoire de Paris sous la houlette de Charles Hodge avec l'assistance de Sylvie B Bideguin, l'une des deux maîtresses de ballet de l'ensemble chorégraphique. Great. So is it perfect? It should be perfect. All right. Get up with your partner. Here we go. Um... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that was good. Yeah, okay, so what's going to happen here is we're all in the wings. So we're all in the wings. Come out for a second. So you're over here, you're furthest down stage, and then over here would be, I think, well, actually, we'll come in right here. So this is yes, and then you'll be right behind Loic, and then you're on stage. Yep, you're right there. Great. And then you guys, you'll, you can choose. If you're up here, you have to run from further back because they can see you, or you can come up from here and skirt down. I would suggest probably that you're here so that you can run more direct. Yeah, cool. And then over here is, who's the other? This, yes. So maybe, yes, yeah, somewhere in the middle. And so you're behind him. And then you're going to have this upstage wing. We're going to make a triangle. What happens right before this is we all walk backwards from this side of the stage. We'll be over here in silence. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Louis leads it, and then he'll run, and then the music will start. So the musical cue will be taken from you. So you start the whole thing. If you're not ready, you just stop a second. <sighs> okay. And then you, you don't get to do that. Yeah, three steps. It'll be here, you'll go one, two, and then three. Yep. And right when he's doing those three steps, that's when you two run out. So you'll have just finished, and he does his three, ba, ba, ra. And you're going to stop. Yeah, somewhere over here. Come over on this tape. Yeah, and then you'll be over just in front of that tape. Yeah, and you guys are directly upstage, downstage. Yeah, and we do this. Ladies will come out. Five, six, one, two, three. Keep going. Three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, sorry, four. We'll find some more space. Six, seven. We're going to come to this line right here. Yeah, and then content, we're not in this one yet, right? You just so you know. So it's just this, these six. We're in a line, and you should finish. Downstage? It must be. I should check just to make sure. No, uh, if you're on the left or the right. Yeah, pause. Great, just like this. Yeah, so we're on this line. Gentlemen, we're going to go up. We're going to go down. We're going to go up. We're going to go down. We're going to go back. We're going to go back up and then down. So up, down, up, front, back, up, down. 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 Yeah? Ladies. Go down, you're down. Up, down, back, straight, like a T, down. One, two, three, 
four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gentlemen, it's only six beats. I was wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, down, up, front, back, straight. Ladies are the opposite. Down, up, down. Uh, sorry, yeah, left leg, left arm. Down, up, down, back, square, lower. Down, up, down. Uh, one, two, three, back, straight, lower. Ba, ah, nope, three of them. Down, up, down, back, straight, lower. <laughs> Good. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. Okay, already though, so remember the H's we talked about? Right, and trying to be more exact. So I'm seeing here this up, and I'm wondering if I made this shape. No, I'm thinking more of this shape. Yeah, and then my down, I want to make that exact opposite. So that line would have been straight, and that line would have been straight. So from here, to here, and it's the same for the women, either way, yeah? And then we're just matching that line on the diagonal, and then either we're switching it. The only time there's anything different is when the ladies go horizontal, yeah? And if this is done well, yeah, one more time. Bop, bop, yes, what's happening? So when you move fast, there's rebound. You're gonna go wah, 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 wah. This is easier, I don't have to think of a stop but it gets blurry and messy. Kind of a thing. So we want to know the stopping point and try to honor that. Just then, that arm got over your head. No, no, no. Yes. And this one is going straight diagonal. Yes. Too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too high. Yeah, yeah. So that's what happens is we just, our arms start to get very close. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Well, I'll give us a six, a four, five, six, and then we'll go one, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. A one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. One more time. A one, two, three, four, five, six. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Pause. There's something missing because we did the same thing. So men go, what did we do? High. High, low, high, front, back, straight. Ladies go low, high, low, back, square, straight. Low, high, low, back, straight, down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Better. Yeah, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Ah. Right? Let's check that tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And then from there, we're all going to sum five, six. Yeah. Four, five, six, one, two. Great. So you should be on the other side. I was. Aaron's downstage. I'm pretty sure of that. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. So the change here, as we've done this jump and this big fly, we wrap around, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Dang it. Ga, ga, ga. Yep. Same thing after that. Yeah? And then from here, so just you two. This is yours only. You're going to mirror each other. So your right arm, your left arm. Ba, 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 ba. So you'll turn to the left. Hua, 
qua, 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 ba, ba, yes. And we want to stay as close as we can together. We go, ba, ra, ga, ga, ga. Yeah, and you would have your right foot forward. Ra, 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 ra. Yep. You could even practice it holding hands like this to go. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Great. Yours, opposite, is um, you'll step, you'll look, you'll step, you'll reach. Ba, 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 ba. Side in, side over. Side in, side over. And that over, I'm Louis. Grab my hips and pull me back. Yes. So you'll go, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, grab to pull him back. Yours is the opposite. Ra, ga, ya, grab. Alexia, pull her back. Yours, yours, you get to do. I think it's your left foot. Ra, ga, ya. We'll stick with the left for now. And we'll just go, wah, wah, yeah. And you're grabbing over here this hip into pull back. Yeah, and then the same, you would grab arrow one. Front. Wah, gai. That seems silly. right? Great. Right. So you'll open up on your one, two, up, down. So you guys get, you take, I think the nature of this is probably because we wanted to span out to create a solid diagonal, but if all of us are traveling forward, we're going to stay in a line. So we're here, and we're going to take a step away. Not you guys. Morgan. Ba, 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 ya, ga, ga, ga. And that's all we have. Ya, ga, ga, grab, and pull back. Yeah, all together, slow. I'll just give us a six. We do the flaps. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. And this is resetting. So we're going to be here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and a two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and we stop. And we flap again. So for the ladies, I'm going to be over here with Alexia. Come in. And we've done this. You're going to pull me back. Five, six, seven, eight. You go one, two, three, four. So you'll just run back and then change directions to go again. Bye. This time, however, we're not going to go to the same spot because we have two more people who need space. So we're here. We're going to come running back. Stop, stop where you started. So remember in the very beginning, you were about here, and you're starting somewhere over here on stage left of center for the first one. Stop here, change directions, so you're just on the next side of it. Ba, ba, ya, which puts you guys a little further out, and now there's room for one and five. Yeah. You actually need to do the other part. We need to teach you this. You need to do this part. 
So we need to teach you this. Can we, can I leave you six to make that airtight, our flaps, our reaches, and our pullback? Come over here. It's um, a gather, stretch one leg, gather, stretch both arms, gather, flip your hair forward. This is a little tire bouchon, saute, rond de jambe. Stay tuned. Seven, eight, oh, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we only do half. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This, whew. Yeah. Whew. So, negative space. Um, we have, oh, it's not going to say exit. It says sortie, doesn't it? Does it? Where are my glasses? Oh, those are just, that's a person running for a door. <laughs> that's not an exit. Okay. Um, Norco. There's nothing there. Shirts, letters. Adidas, no. Okay. Oh, I don't have internet. Ah! This drives me crazy. Um, well, here's of this. Where'd my pencil go? You guys! My cowbell. All right. The FedEx logo is very famous. Why is the FedEx logo very famous? Because there is an arrow. Yeah, so there's a big F, and then. FedEx. Where is the arrow? <laughs> uh, X, yes, thank you. And the, are they all capital? No, I can't even see it. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. This, here we curl, okay, whatever. Here's an E, and then here's a D, like this, and then um, something's missing. X. Anyway, in between the E and the X is an arrow in white. It's in negative space. So you have your FedEx, and then there's this arrow like sending in a direction. But you don't see it because it's the negative space, right? So I want to talk about the negative space when we're dancing. That's what's going to let them. We talked a little bit about this with our temps de croisé devant when we were saying for the people at the back of the audience, like we're storytellers, right? So our number one job is to tell a story. If I can't communicate to them, I failed, right? That's it. You're now you're an athlete, right? We're not athletes, we're artists. So we're over here, we're in our tendu quasi devant. If my foot's straight forward, then I look like I have one leg. If I start to move and I have two legs, the more I go, the higher that negative triangle in between gets, so the longer my legs look. If I'm here like this, I have one leg, my head is connected to my arm, so I have a really big bicep and no head, and this is a weird shape. But if I put my leg behind and put space right here, then they say that's a human dancing, and I get it, right? That same negative space we come across here. You guys know Katniss Everdeen? She and I are like so close. Um, I always pretend anytime I have a passe, is that the game we play is that she's got her arrows and she wants to shoot it right through that passe. If I'm too close, she's gonna stab me. So instead of just coming here, or like coming and kicking, I wanna make sure that there's that negative space across before I go. Because that's how they see that a swizzle happened. And why go through all the work of a tir bouchon if I'm not going to let them know that it took place. Yeah? So it's that negative space. It's the negative uh, arrow in our FedEx logo. Right? Seven, eight, we go one, and a two, and a three, and four, and five, and six, seven. Oh, yes, sorry, round de jambe. Ra, ga, ya, ga, ga, ga. There was one more step there, Agat. Round de jambe. Why do you end up back there? You are so talented. You need to be there. Ga, 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 ga. 
Yeah, and now we're in another line. This time you're down. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Conta. You're right here. This is really ambitious. I don't think we're going to get there. I think we might be more on this line. That's my guess. Why don't we do that for now? You'll thank me later. <laughs> Same flaps. So the guys up, down, up, front, back, straight. The gals down, up, down, back, square, straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Better, but not tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's getting there. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great, from the beginning. Au début. Le tip top. Oh, sorry, that's my butt. It's <laughs> weird. All right, with no music. So when you see him do his one, two, you're running out. So for now, why don't we do this for them? You'll take, um, you'll go left, right, no, right, left, one, two to go. So give them those two walks back. Ba, ba, ya, ga, ra, yeah. And this is not so much of a, <laughs> a grand jeté. Yeah. So you're just like sliding. Ra. <sighs> yeah. OK? So he'll give you two walks back, and then you do the two runs. And walk back, back. Ba, one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And stop one second. Good. So I think we need to come down, maybe hug the upside, hug the leg. Yeah, so instead of being in the middle, you're up here. And then you guys will hug this one. And then there's space, right? Will we be lit like down here? Is anybody? Yeah? OK, so you're on a diagonal. So you're going to come from this wing. And then we'll have more space. You'll be here for all of this. And then when you come out, it's just to this spot. You'll just go ra ga 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 ba ba ba. Yeah? Beginning. Seven. All right, whatever. Shh, quiet. Hmm. Oh, one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and eight and a one and a two and three and four and five. Six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, pulling back a oh, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, and six and seven and eight and a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. How did it go? <laughs> yeah, you got to start somewhere, right? Like I say, the first time is always the easiest. You have nothing to compare it to. Right? It's OK. Let's do it 5% better. Yeah. Wait. Seulement pour la deuxième fois. Le, la, fois. La, fois. La, deuxième fois. En français. Four. Il y a quatre. Comment dit-on count? Temps. Compte. Compte. Um, Ba, 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 one, two, ya, ra, ra, ga, ga. So you don't really have runs into it. You'll scoot back and go one step. Ra, ba, 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 ba. One more time. A little under tempo. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven. Eight, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, six, two, three, seven, and eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, one, two. Nope. Yeah, okay, it's my fault. I'm not clear. First thing. You'll run a little sooner. Same thing, Salome, because you have further to go, right? Right now, Louis is having to compensate for you. He's coming over here, and he's trying to help you out. 
I don't want him to help you out. I just want you to leave a little sooner, and then you have to worry about it, yeah? So we really erupt through. Now, if I'm going to put my arms over someone, tell me as an illusion how effective this is. Face them. Yes? No, them. They're not here. So if I go over, or if I go over, if I go over, which one works best? Two, yeah? What happens is we suggest it, but then we abort. And so we're kind of making a triangle or a TP. As much as we can, I want to keep my fingers as close together as possible, as long as possible, yeah. So it's effective. The same thing, ladies, when we burst through, right, like erupt to come back out of it. Yeah, right? Because like the only way that can happen is if it's been rehearsed. And that's what people pay for. Woo, yes. Right? So, if I do four pirouettes, does that make me a professional? <laughs> Raise your hand if my four pirouettes makes me a professional. No. But sometimes we think that way. Oh my god, oh he did four pirouettes, he must be a professional. It could also be luck. What is the difference? Quelle est la différence entre un professionnel et un amateur? Chaque fois. Yeah, it's consistency. Every time you ask me to do something, I'll give you the goods. Right? And that's what we're working towards, is that instead of one out of 10 times, it's every time. And I think that's the good fight that we want to have. So every time we do this, I might hit you. Oh, sorry and we try it again, and I'm adjusting, and I'm compensating, and I'm, if you do it 10 times, two of them are good. Tomorrow, do it 10 more times, and hopefully three of them will be good. The next day, 10, and you do four, and you're always pushing that, because that's what somebody wants to hire. It's like, I know what I'm gonna get. Yeah, you might look a mess right now, but by the show, I know that you'll, you'll give me the consistency that I, I've come to expect of you, yeah? That's your reputation and you start building your reputation now for your career. Do you want to be known as somebody who complains? Known as somebody who uh, asks too many questions? I'm that person, <laughs> to, to talk too much. Um, or known as somebody who like delivers the goods, right? You get to decide that today. Everything you do says something about whom you are. And that's the truth, right? how you dress, how you behave, your facial expressions, this, right? It says something. I'm getting information, right? And I'm going to respond to that information. Um, so yeah, that circle, is mat it matters. So that was the first one, is our circles are poor. No, the first one was running out sooner. The second one, our circles aren't staying tight. The third one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was right after this. Oh, I think we're jumping too much. We're getting into this. <laughs> like everything is becoming a saute, and it's not. The only saute is this. This is the only true saute. Everything else is a bounce, a bounce. Yeah? Ba ya ka ka ya ka ka ya ka ka ya ka ka in saute. Oh, I guess this is the second one. And then this wrap around. It's just enough where my toe, my toe is still touching the floor. Just my toe. Yeah. So it's a nice good press. Fourth one is we're staying too long up here and then we kind of come down. We don't have that time. So we need to go from this and be done with it. Practice that with your partner. Guys, help your gals. <gasps> nice. Ba ba da ba jump and lift and down. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> hey, thanks for that hand. That's nice. It's very nice. Right? So it's just a soft landing. You can't crash it. It's gonna lift and then soft. Right? Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is right away. Uh, one, two, three, four, and be pulling. They need all the help they can get. 
and for her to pull him, I need you. So it starts really the whole thing, if it gets behind, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> so they're gonna wait, because I also, I mean, it's silly. This is like pretend dancing, you know? When someone's here, um, pretend to pull me. Oh, right, now pull me, pull me backwards, run, run. Whoa, that's exciting, that's real, right? There's no filter, hashtag no filter, right? This is the real stuff. Let's augment reality instead of doing it through a phone, right? So you really need to pull. Then we reset, and you should be able to get back like on this side so that you can step just beyond center. And this is the peak, which means you're here, yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah, maybe there. Right on the tape, maybe. And then you're down there, Agathe Contin. This is a woof, woof. C'est la diagonale. Comment dit-on Diagon Alley? Diagon Alley. In Harry Potter? So Harry Potter's like, Diagonally, and he wants to go diagon no, to Diagon Alley, but he says diagonally, and he travels diagonally. But in Harry Potter, they don't call it the Chemin de Traverse, do they, Diagon Alley? I've always wondered about that translation. Anyway, so we're on a, a diagonal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we're on this diagonal. Yeah, nice diagonal. We do one shut up, two and a three and four. Now we just do half of the phrase. So the gent, these five, we're gonna go one and a two and a three and a four and a five, six and a seven and eight and. And you might like, mm. you'll go like this and you might kind of do that. Yeah, so we can get right on that center tape. Ladies, you're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Say two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Ow. Yep. Ra, ga, ya, ba. You can get to that center tape. Yes. Yeah. And then one more time. Uh, no. Ouch. It's like a nerve. What's happening in my elbow? Yours and yours. When we do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, you're gonna go turn and reach across. Ba, ba, yes. And this is going to this hip here. Hip, what was it? Come with you. Anche. Pew. <laughs> that one, to pull back. So you'll turn, uh, yeah, ga. Very ballroom, I think. Like, <laughs> but it's not, don't do it. <laughs> but it feels that way. Yes, and your left arm opens up. Bum, yeah. You can bend that knee. And then you'll pull back. Yep, yep. Beginning. Um, sha, ne, reach. Right foot, left arm. Right foot, yes. Yeah, and instead of being, so again, proportion, detail, right? Make the shape. Thank you for those shoulders. Yeah, the whole body is part of a shape. Yeah, how high is my leg? Where's my foot? Yeah, where are my hands? What are yours? Yeah, right? It's all of those details, right? It's not good enough just to lift it. We're looking for that accuracy. So we come across, there's this, which is what I saw, and I'll do this. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I think this piece, Benjamin has a lot of classical technique, but he also infuses with it what I consider to be just like um, anthropocentric, just human, just walk, right? Just use your arms. It doesn't need to be so, just dance. So in this case, whew, he would probably just like, just take a lunge and move out of it instead of feeling like it's so placed. I think that's kind of what makes it the work a little more approachable or accessible. Beginning. For the, no, yours, for the ladies. You'll go left arm. 
down, up, down, back, square, together, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. La deuxième fois seulement. Yeah. Quentin, you'll go ba, 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 right away. Mm -hmm. Yep. On the tape. Okay. Slow. Here we go. And. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, eight, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, in seven and eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four. Again. Again. Wah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Shuffling back. All the same thing. Uh, no, you. We exchange places. Do the same thing, just on the opposite side. That's okay. But the same step. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Yep. Same thing. Mm-hmm. No, so Julia is uh, still upstage. So you would go to the same spot. So maybe on this wrap around you switch. Okay. So we should get back to the same spot. Right? Does that work? Ba 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 ba. I would prefer her to pass in front. Yeah. Because seven, oh, one, uh, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. Oh. <laughs> other, other version? Can I go with you? Seven, eight, you go. Oh, one, uh, two. Three, uh, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, one. Maybe that. Okay. So I need you to book it. Yeah. Yeah, ladies. So you'll be here. You'll come up. You're wrapping around. And you can turn and get to your spot. Guys will slot in just after. Yeah. I would rather guys look wrong. Because of just... It's a very... I don't know. I feel like women always get the pointed finger. Women have to apologize more than men, and that's silly. So we're going to make the man apologize. OK. Beginning? Faster. We'll just put it to music. All right. This is going to be so much fun with music. I'll take it from you. Five, six, seven, eight, one. All right. <laughs> Good. You got a bonk? How bad is it? Okay. Your name? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. 
Dance is a contact sport before it's an art, right? So, you know, in the process of dancing, when you first learn steps, you're like, I don't even know where my own body is. Like, I, I left and right, like, what's happening? The more familiar you get at some point, you're like, oh, have you always been right there? Like, I've never, I never knew you. Do you, have you always, I've never seen you do that. Have you always done that step? And it's like our consciousness expands because we're so familiar. This is when I say, like, dance, class the way you rehearse, rehearse the way you perform, perform the way you take class. When you're in rehearsal, don't learn just what your steps are. Your steps are always in relation to the space and the context, right? So as soon as you can tap into both the big picture, the 30,000 foot view, this is where things are and this is where I am in space, but also be on the microscopic version where you're figuring out exactly what's happening, we want to balance those two. And often our learning process is to focus on the first so much that we don't get to the latter. And I think this is an, an, an example of a consequence of that. We're all doing it. It's a battle, like autopilot, or survival, rather. Survival is just like, what am I doing, <laughs> right? And it's hard to turn that off and trust the space, right? I would rather you be a little bit late and accurate than on time and sloppy, right? It's also where we get injured on our own or whatever, yeah? You can't be afraid. Yes, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we do it once? And I want you to think of marking it. I think we're doing it too hard, too much. Yeah? We're at like an eight, and I think we do this at a six. Yeah? One more time? At a six. What does that look like? Here we go. We're going to stop. We're getting late. Ladies. Ah. Um, use your words, Charlie. We're like going four and we're coming through around five. We need to be out. Like, what is this? If I were to pull, there's too much friction. <laughs> if I were to pull and like send myself sliding, that's your four. A penguin. Yeah, totally a penguin. That I want to be like, ooh, out on four, not diving on four. And four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, and three, four. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> three, four, five. Lift up. Hey. 
So pause. Where does it go awry? Stop and needle into it. Yeah? Where do you mess up? All right? Do it four times. Where do you mess up? All right? Do that four times. Do you mess up? Ba, 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 ba. With the music? Mm -hmm. yeah, we have Do you want me to play it? Ora, um, one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, and then there. Ya, ga, ra, ra. Yeah. Did you do it four times? Oh, I think just get there. You'll be here, you'll do your circle, and just... Yeah. But I would probably from this, instead of leading with my right, it's harder to do that, because I'm falling back around a corner. From here, if I take my left, then I can step forward. Ba, ba. Yeah, and I don't know, I mean, maybe you'll do that much of a circle, or spacing might not be we should probably get you further off center. Like you should probably be a little bit more over here. Yeah. So on this four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're not trying to back into it. Yeah. One more time. Here we go. This took a little bit of time. Good. Easy. Up. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. Good. All right, we're filling it in. Yeah, if we do it 30 more times, we'll get there. I'm joking, three more times, I bet. Um, it's, just, it's just doing it at this point, right? We're a little bit trepidatious still. Ladies, we're running and it's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> right, we can't do that. Just go, you might get a black eye, but then you have something on him. And you're like, you're bringing me donuts tomorrow, cookies, macarons. Five, pistachio, <laughs> right? Because you gave me a black eye, right? Guys, same thing, make a nice big space for that. Yeah, give them room. And if we're nervous, so um, C.D. Larby, do you know C.D. Larby? Um, and a piece of his he made for Ellie Dan's project called Harbor Me, it was all about twisting. We had to start and just fold our hands and then our body and just keep going and going and going. Turns out we have more rotation or flexibility on an exhale. When we're on an inhale, we're stuck on an exhale. Right? And so when we're doing something like this, if I'm tense, if I'm afraid, my circle is this big. If I release, my circle is that big. Right? So the more ease you bring into your body, the better off you're going to have a chance of making the volume that you need to do the stuff you want to do. Yeah? Um, we stop at 8. I think it's like in three minutes. Yeah, it's 8.04, technically. Where's... Do we have a boss? It's 8 o'clock. Are we supposed to stop? After this, she's coming up. After this, we're all gonna throw you into his arms <laughs> twice. We throw you into his arms, and then we make a little circle, and then we do this phrase. All the way to the ground, we stand up. There are two eights, and then we go into the duet. Yeah. 
uh, I, uh, all that. Right? So we've kind of learned almost all of the movement. Everything else is a bunch of repeats, just in different sequences. We'll work on that tomorrow. I don't know what's happening right now. Je pense qu'on peut remercier les, les jeunes danseurs et les applaudir. Merci, Charlotte. Thank you for your work today. C'est donc la fin de, de, du troisième jour de travail sur euh, cette euh, recréation de la pièce de Benjamin Millepied, Hearts and Arrows. Je vous propose de terminer ce rendez-vous en demandant à trois des danseurs de, de l'ensemble chorégraphique de partager un petit peu avec nous leur euh, travail. Si vous en avez encore la force, Alors, vous avez été un peu désigné d'office. Donc Morgane, Erwan et Loïc, s'il vous plaît, est-ce que vous voulez bien me rejoindre C'est presque pire pour eux que de danser. <rire> oui, je sais que c'est le, le pire moment de la soirée, bien que... Je voulais... Bon, alors, c'est un petit peu tôt, trois jours, euh, c'est à la fois tôt et à la fois déjà long. Est-ce que vous avez déjà une petite idée de cette pièce euh, et qu qu'est-ce qu que vous en pensez Est-ce qu'il y en a un de vous On pense... Euh, par, par rapport à quoi on en... Par rapport à cette chorégraphie que vous êtes en train de travailler et que vous découvrez, j'imagine. Enfin, nos, nos sensations, du coup oui. euh, bah, Je pense que c'est énormément de... Enfin, c'est une qualité de travail qui est vachement différente de ce qu'on a l'habitude de faire. Et euh, du coup, il bah, y a une... À quel niveau Je pense au niveau de la fluidité. Il euh, y a un travail vraiment de, de faire en sorte que tout soit, euh, je veux dire, smooth. Mais enfin, c'est vraiment... Euh... Votre anglais s'améliore. <rire> oui, en vrai, je comprends de mieux en mieux. <rire> non, mais euh, du coup, il y, y a ça, il y a vraiment un travail où le mouvement doit être continu. Il n'y a jamais de, de réelle fissure dans la chorégraphie et euh, il faut que ça soit toujours clair et c'est vachement imagé je trouve euh, aussi dans, le, dans la chorégraphie donc il euh, y, y a de ça puis après il y a aussi l'approche euh, comment il nous l'enseigne euh, je trouve qui est assez euh, exceptionnelle parce qu'il nous apporte euh, avec, des, avec des images énormément donc du coup on, on arrive vite à comprendre et à, et à se l'approprier en fait enfin moi à ce niveau là comme ça et vous euh, bah pour moi, ce que je retiens, c'est surtout euh, que c'est la première fois que je vais danser sur scène une pièce qui utilise autant le, vo le, même, vraiment, le vocabulaire classique. Et le... Parce que vous êtes en contemporain. Oui. Et du coup, je n'ai jamais fait de, de danse classique vraiment sur scène. Mais euh, la danse est super intéressante pour nous parce qu'il y a quand même une physicalité et, une, et des qualités qui sont très contemporaines, je trouve. Enfin, on, on peut vraiment trouver nos... Enfin, notre plaisir aussi dedans et c'est un très gros challenge je trouve de, du coup de technique, de rapidité aussi et ça confronte à les problèmes qu'on a encore à régler, enfin je parle pour moi là beaucoup, <rire> technique et euh, du coup avec la rapidité c'est un, un facteur en plus euh, qui fait que bon ok, là j'ai besoin d'être là, d'être présente et d'avoir mon sol, mes pieds, enfin voilà. Ça vous met face à vous-même un petit peu tu vois. Euh, Allez, pour d'être le troisième. <rire> ouais, ils ont déjà beaucoup dit, mais, euh, mais c'est vrai que c'est quelque chose qu'on n'a pas forcément l'habitude de travailler. C'est soit très classique, soit très contemporain ce qu'on travaille. Et là, d'avoir vraiment une approche euh, voilà, mixte qui est vraiment... Il euh, faut des bases classiques, mais il faut aussi euh, voilà, tout, ce qui, tout ce lié, tout ce qui roule euh, et qui va super bien avec la musique. Enfin, c'est super agréable à danser, ça roule, ça, ça part. Quoi. Et du coup, euh, voilà. <rire> et, euh, alors, et par rapport au travail que vous faites avec euh, Charles Hodge, euh, qu qu'est-ce qu que vous en tirez Qu'est-ce qu'il vous apporte d'intéressant et, et très spécifique euh... Il insiste beaucoup sur le, le détail, hein, sur l'exigence pour chaque mouvement, l'espace. Moi, je dirais qu'on a une leçon chaque jour. Ouais. C'est-à-dire que... Mais, ouais, mais fait, enfin, en fait, euh, tout, en fait, chaque moment où on danse, juste après... Il y a un moment où on dit, OK, là, qu'est-ce qui vient de se passer Qu'est-ce qu'il y a à, à améliorer enfin, Il y a un vrai travail, de, enfin, il y a même un échange. Et ce que je trouve super aussi, c'est à la fin, on se, on se met tous en rond et on nous dit, qu'est-ce que vous avez appris Et donc, du coup, bah, ça, fin, ça nous permet, nous, d'intégrer aussi euh, ce qu'on a vu pendant toute la journée, pendant toute euh, l'heure de travail. Donc ça, c'est énorme. Et puis, il y a aussi énormément de... Euh, comment dire Un apport de qualité. Et moi aussi, sur, par rapport à l'image, quand il nous montre... Un exemple, mais quand il est arrivé, il nous a dit « Qu'est-ce que c'est ça C'est un H. 
tout le monde est en mode, ouais, ouais, ah, et après il fait, ok, mais en fait, il y en a plein d'autres, <rire> il y en a mais genre des millions, et, et c'est juste que nous, on veut celui-ci particulièrement, et donc comment on va faire pour arriver avec celui-ci alors que pourtant, on fait tous un H, mais euh, on le fait tous avec euh, nos manières, euh, nos envies. Et du coup, bah, il y avait ce travail-là. Et moi, ça m'a frappé parce qu'il a été très imagé dans, dans sa manière, de, dans son approche, en fait. Oui. Quelque chose à ajouter là-dessus euh, Oui, c'est travailler la technique dans la qualité, dans la rapidité, l'engagement, le contact avec le partenaire, la musicalité. C'est Beaucoup d'idées de co. Qui, et il y a des vases communicants et... Et euh, la musicalité aide à la rapidité, enfin, c'est surtout ça que je retiens. De un tout euh, qui, on doit penser à tout, tout le temps en fait, là-dedans, et, et c'est super intéressant pour ça. Quelque chose à rajouter mmh, ouais, bah, Juste pour revenir sur les images, c'est vrai qu'à chaque fois qu'il nous sort son ordinateur et qu'il nous sort euh, un petit diapo avec tout ça bien écrit, bien, et il nous pose une question, il nous fait « et non, c'est ça la réponse <rire> !» Et enfin, euh, du coup, ça, ça rentre vraiment dans la tête et on apprend énormément au fur et à mesure de... Ça fait que trois jours, mais pourtant j'ai l'impression que ça fait... Oui, moi, je suis assez euh, fascinée par la densité des informations qui vous sont fournies, la rapidité à laquelle vous réagissez. Je me dis, mais comment vous faites la synthèse de tout ça en si peu de temps C'est parce que, comme il disait, c'est euh, pas... C'est clair. <rire> Clarity. <rire> il demandait. Et en fait, il est juste clair, donc en fait, bah, c'est juste évident. Quand il nous, nous donne le, le pas, bah, on, on comprend assez rapidement. Est-ce que c'est difficile ce travail autour de cette chorégraphie de Benjamin Pied Moi je trouve que le plus difficile c'est le rapport à la musique parce que j'ai tout le temps l'impression d'être derrière et de courir après, d'être là où... d'être tout le temps en recul par rapport à ça alors que des fois je sens que je suis vraiment calé dessus et là je, là, je le sens vraiment, ça monte, ça... Et là ça vient mais je suis l'impression d'être tout le temps en arrière quoi. et c'est surtout là-dessus que enfin, moi en tout cas il faut que je travaille. Quoi. Les autres mmh, bah, Moi c'est un peu pareil mais c'est... Euh... Trouver la musicalité, enfin, du coup la rapidité, sans euh, aller en force, en gardant, sans euh, s'éloigner du sol, je vais encore le dire. Mais euh, ouais, sans, je sais pas, en continuant à trouver des qualités dedans et en étant calme en fait. Et au final, ça marche beaucoup mieux en étant calme dans les choses et qu'en s'énervant, en voulant absolument être rapide. Et c'est surtout ça le challenge, je trouve. Alors on parle de difficulté, mais on peut aussi peut-être parler de plaisir. Qu'est-ce qui vous rend heureux dans ces trois jours Vous l'avez un peu dit d'ailleurs. Euh, euh, personnellement, moi, c'est euh, par rapport à bon, en fait, le travail même de Benjamin Mupier qui est vraiment sur la fluidité. Et euh, je trouve que c'est tellement agréable. Au début, on, franchement, on a du mal, on n'arrive pas, le pas, on n'y arrive pas. Et puis quand il y, y a un déclic, on se dit « Ah, mais en fait, là, c'est trop bien. Et, » Et on se laisse aller. Et il nous disait oh, « Oui, c'est ça, il y a ces petits moments de bonheur où, par exemple, dans la purette, là, tu dis « C'est mon moment, en fait. » Et, et c'est ça en fait, tu te dis mais euh, maintenant la chorégraphie je la connais, j'ai la musicalité, maintenant c'est pour moi et je danse et, et c'est ça en fait, c'est comment s'y retrouver dedans et moi je trouve ça génial. Ben, je vous remercie beaucoup, merci beaucoup à vous. Donc on vous retrouve tous avec les autres danseurs de l'ensemble chorégraphique le 22 avril pour la retransmission en direct du spectacle qui associera donc à cette pièce de Benjamin Millepied une pièce de Trisha Brown, Set and Reset, Reset, et une pièce d'Emmanuel Gatt, Works. Et puis le prochain direct aura lieu le 14 janvier à 19h. Il permettra d'assister à un cours public avec les organistes Olivier Latry et Michel Bouvard. Et le rendez-vous aura lieu bien sûr dans la salle d'orgue. Merci aux équipes qui ont rendu cette soirée possible et à très vite. Merci.